Time management is a fundamental life-saving skill. Your management of the airway depends upon your abilities, training and scope of practice. The best method of airway management will vary depending on patient condition, equipment available and skill level of the provider. The first two steps of any airway management response involve opening and clearing the airway. First, open the airway using a head tilt chin lift by placing one hand on the forehead and the other on the chin. Push with the hand to move the head back while lifting the jaw to bring the chin forward. Second, clear the airway. Suctioning may be necessary to remove foreign material or secretions. Now that the airway is open and clear, consider a couple airway adjuncts to maintain patency. There are two main types, including the oral pharyngeal airway for unconscious patients and the nasal pharyngeal airway for conscious patients. Selection of the proper size oral pharyngeal airway is done by assessing flange at the lips of the patient and the tip of the airway should be at the angle of the jaw. Insertion is achieved by pointing the tip toward the hard palate and then rotating 180 degrees until the tip touches the posterior pharyngeal wall. Selection of the proper size nasal pharyngeal airway is done by assessing the flange at the nostril and the tip should just reach the tragus of the ear. To insert, place the tip perpendicular to the maxillary bone, using gentle pressure in a spiral motion until the device is in place beyond the nasal pharynx, providing a patent airway. After placement, listen to the chest to ensure that the patient is receiving adequate breath sounds. Now that we have our airway adjunct in place, we now move to back mask ventilation. To properly use the back mask, use the EC formation with your hands. To do so, form a C with the index finger and a thumb on one hand on the top side of the mask on the bridge of the nose. This securely applies the mask to the face. Now the three remaining fingers form an E and use these fingers to lift the jaw forming the airway. Now maintaining this position, the provider squeezes the bag, taking one second to provide one ventilation. If a second provider is available to assist with bag mask ventilation, one provider will deliver ventilations with the bag mask while the other provider provides the same EC formation with both hands to the mask. So you have completed the airway management skills training. Please feel free to review as often as you would like, and we encourage you to practice your skills with a skilled healthcare provider so please go out there and save lives.